I just wanted to put together a quick video because um, I was talking to a friend about this and he wasn't entirely sure about how yield farming works and um, I wanted to show him so I figured I might as well create a video and um, shows you guys as well and upload to YouTube so um, this is something I've been like sort of dabbling with recently it's um, yield farming um, so the idea like existed before, but it got popularized by Uniswap. And i um, uh, going to jump in. Uh, the whole concept is using a, a structure like an automated market maker. And um, this market maker basically has a reserve of tokens and uh, gives it out in exchange um, for uh, other tokens. So it's a swapping mechanism. And um, in order for the swapping mechanism to work, requires some form of liquidity and uh, liquidity in the form of tokens. So to in order to if you want to like if you enter into like an exchange and you want to exchange token A for token B, if the exchange doesn't have token B, then you can't really swap it. So when a coin comes out, they want liquidity because if somebody comes in and wants to buy the token, they don't have it, then suddenly that becomes a problem. So um, in this case, the pool provides a, um, a mechanism for like holding the token A, token B, and um, lets you deposit tokens into the pool. They give you an APY, which is over here. In this case, we're going to be looking at SYP, and um, it's uh, 472 APY. So that usually means that they're in high demand of this token. So you can go in and take advantage of it. So how it works is you have, um, and this is like my personal uh, SoFlare account. This is like my liquid fund. So this is what I use for doing DeFi stuff and just like messing around. Um, so if you have like a coin like SYP and um, you can provide it to this pool to acquire this high liquidity or this high APY. Um, and in order to do that, you need to create an LP token. So an LP to vote token is basically like a liquidity provider token. You take the SYP asset, which is very volatile, and then it's backed by another asset, in this case, USDC. Um, it could also be backed by uh, Radi uh, Radium, Solana. Um, I'm operating mostly in the Solana universe, so um, Ethereum doesn't really uh, exist here. There's wrapped Ethereum but that's like getting into a different rabbit hole, um, wrapped Ethereum here. Um, in this case, we're looking at USDC, which is always gonna be backed by a dollar. So um, we provide 10 of the uh, SY SYP tokens with one of the USDC tokens, basically gives us an, a arbitrary amount of LPs. And then this liquidity token basically is stating that um, we, uh, we have this much liquidity and we're putting up the token into the pool, which guarantees that liquidity. And then um, that lets the pool operate and withdraw and lets a person come in and withdraw a swap air, their token for something that we provide liquidity for. So um, great in theory, like let's run through an example of how it actually works and how, it, um, how like we actually enable this process. So we're, we have to use a um, automated market maker like Radium. Um, there's plenty of other ones like Orca. Um, they also offer staking pools, but in this case, like I like Radium, so let's just use it. Um, you can shop around for the best one. So we select uh, SYP, um, and we also have to put up um, a, a stable coin as collateral. So in this case, USDC. Um, and I want to put up 423 because that's how much I had before in liquidity. So I didn't really want to mess with my ratios because I already pre-calculated this. So I'm going to go ahead and supply it. You have to provide a one-to-one -one mapping because um, that's just how the protocol works. So approve this transaction. And in this transaction, um, I'm going to be taking out the SYP token and the USDC token from my wallet. Give it to a contract. The contract is like an intermediary body that holds the uh, tokens in exchange for this LP token, which basically states that I own this liquidity. And now I have this many SYP and USDC tokens. So 
Now this is a new structure in my wallet um, and it's under a arbitrary, um, sorry, I need to reload this, an arbitrary uh, uh, contract here. So this is provided and basically says, I own this much liquidity in the pool. Um, now I go to Tulip and I find the pool that I want to deposit into. In this case, it's the SYP USDC. So I want to um, first reload this page because um, it doesn't reload automatically. Um, go into my Soulflare, load up my wallet, and then filter by the coin I want to provide liquidity for, SYP. So um, I, you see, like I have this much liquidity points, uh, liquidity tokens, um, and I want to provide all of them into the pool to get this APY. I deposit 846. So this is important because we're putting up the coin in addition to one-to-one -one collateral. We were actually putting in double the value of the coin into liquidity, into the liquidity pool. So I approve this. That's why I have 846 instead of 423. So approve this, and I approve it on a hardware wallet. I'm just on my ledger to approving these transactions. Um, so now the transaction is confirmed and now I've deposited it into the liquidity pool. So now my tokens are basically in this stage and now the radium swap will take my tokens out and um, provide like swap it for whatever the trader might want. And then this fee is sort of what we're collecting here um, in a way like I like to think of it as providing short term loans to people um, and this, the pool is offering as like a sort of bank where we're as a liquidity provider we're putting up our assets in exchange for some of the fees that they collect when a trader comes in and wants funds so these guys are um, paying like high fees in order to get access to the token and we are providing a way for them to get the token and they of course have to put up another collateral into the pool to um, to uh, manage that. So there are a couple gotchas. Um, in the case that the coin does go up, there is a thing called a permanent loss. And I want to bring this up because um, it's important to know. So if the coin value goes up or down extremely quickly, you could lose a lot of your gains. Um, so of course, like if the coin goes down, the change in value is going to decrease is going to increase so your value of coins are going to decrease obviously because your your underlying asset is decreasing in value but if the coin goes up in value it also decreases because there's a formula that manages the contract and it might not be on this page but um there is a fair staking equation that basically tries to hold the the value of the lp fixed so if the value of the underlying token goes up then your stake in the pool goes down and therefore you get less than if you would have held. So you won't not get anything, but to illustrate, there's a good calculator here. It's like, for example, if you're providing liquidity for the Solana pool and Solana recently had a run up of like a, a thousand percent, if the value of the coin went up a thousand percent, then you would have lost, it would have been more of an opportunity cost of um, putting it up for uh, yield, um, you would have lost around 60% of your potential gains because um, if you would have held, the value of the coin would have went up five, uh, to $5,000. Whereas if you put it into a liquidity pool, then the final value is actually only uh, 1581 and that's because of the fair value equation. So um, the equation, The equation is pretty popular. Um, I might not be able to find it really quickly, but um, yeah, it is. Um, this is a definite gotcha in um, providing liquidity to the pool. Um, so in the case that uh, the coin value goes up too quickly, it makes more sense to hold it. But if you believe the prices are going to stay flat for a while and nobody's going to um, pump up the price, then it's worth going into a pool and just getting higher yield than you would have got just holding it. Um, 
There are a couple pools for doing it, like Orca is another one, orca.so. Uh, Tulip.garden is a really popular one. So you can see here, I'm already uh, starting to collect um, yield. Uh, Tulip.garden is a really popular one. And Radium.io is uh, another really, really popular one. There are um, a few, so hunt around for the best um, for the best yield. But otherwise, yeah, if there are any other concepts in crypto that you want me to cover, uh, feel free to drop it in the comments, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, um, thanks for watching and uh, catch you guys next time.